What's up YouTube, Erod212 here with another video. So recently I went to a toy show looking for comics. Was I successful? Let's see. So, you know what? Um, I, I decided this weekend I had nothing to do on, on a Saturday. Last weekend, excuse me. And I decided to go to a local toy show. It was a Woodbridge Toy Show. And I said, you know what? Sometimes you'll have dealers that set up in these shows. And you're able to get some decent deals. So, uh, took a ride. It was a local show for me for the most part. And went in. And th there were some amazing toys there. And there were about four comic vendors in there. So, uh, I was able to pick up a few things. Let me show you what was on the show floor and some of these amazing toys, and then I'll show you the books I did.
All right, so you know what? It's, there's some crazy toys. There's some real nice Star Wars toys there. Uh, there was some real good G.I. Joe toys in there. You saw your He-Man toys there. Uh, there was an array for everybody. But uh, also set up there was uh, Lone Wolf Comics was set up there. And a um, couple of other vendors that I deal with, I believe it's NRG um, Comics. It's a husband and wife uh, duo. And they're, they're fantastic people to deal with all the time. Um, so, you know, I had the ability to buy some comics. So let me just show you. Most of these, these books basically are all for the cover. Uh, I picked up gorgeous, gorgeous David Mack cover there. For White Tiger. Uh, this is issue number two. Um, this is Hector Ayala, the original White Tiger's niece. Uh, good character to spec on, uh, although this is not her first appearance. This is, I believe, her first solo story. Uh, just a great cover, and the one I really love. Oh, man. Look at that cover. I mean, you, we, we saw what happened with the Echo covers when David Mack crushed it. And these books right here do not fall far behind. That is just a gorgeous, gorgeous cover. And we talk about gorgeous covers. Um, probably one of the best cover guys for a period. And he has one of the most iconic books of all time. Is uh, Jujervic. Marco Jujervic. Remember, he does Ultimate Fallout 4. He actually does the whole, the 1 in 25 series. He does all of the Ultimate Fallouts. He also does the connecting covers on the X-Men series. Uh, which has a great X-23 cover. Um, that people... Kind of underrated. It's a 1 in 75. Still a really good book because the 1 in 25 book for that um, is the iconic Del Otto. But uh, with everything that's happening and Captain Britain possibly coming around, uh, picked up this X-Men, Die by the Sword, and I bought it just for that amazing Jajervic cover right there. The real banger there. And then take a look at this cover. Man, just, just beautiful. Love it, love it. Good, good art. And then uh, picked up these two books and uh, just fire covers. Great deal on them. Awesome people to deal with. Um, and that was Superman, Son of KL. And this is the um, Jock variant. That thing is just fire. I love the way it's almost all red. Uh, I really like that a lot. Jock has done some iconic covers. This is one of you know his better ones. And a book that I really loved was this. Just look at that cover. Oh my god. I mean, these things became real popular, this style right now. Um, there's a couple of them that are going in the $200 and $175 range. The Venom one uh, is high. And there's another one that's pretty high. This one right here, gorgeous. Just a real nice cover to pick up. I, I, I got this for a very good price. But, uh, you know... Those, that was the haul. There were some books to be found. Um, so I, I, I didn't get shut out. But the best part about it was that I found out about another show that's coming up. And a show you should be checking out. Uh, if I'm available, I am definitely going to go out there. But in March, first week of March, I believe it's the 9th, there's going to be a show up in the Bronx. And their lineup is pretty good already. You know, they, they've got Ben Harvey setting up there. And they've got a couple of other good artists there. Uh, I went to the first show and there were some really good deals to be found. This one's bigger and better. Uh, you're going to have Kyle's Comics and all those other guys. But check out Lone Wolf Comics on IG because he's the guy hosting this show. And you'll get more updated information on there. And hopefully we'll be able to shoot a video there and show you exactly what I picked up and show the show floor. And do all of that good stuff. So uh, that's it for this video right now. And until my next video, peace.